on this episode of Coyote Nation TV. Learn about scheduled choices you can make to impact your future career and get a bit of motivation before your week ends. Today is Thursday, February 28th, 2019, and you're watching Coyote Nation TV Live. Hey Coyotes, I'm Isabel Milford. And I'm Sahana Patel. And Isabel, I'm so glad this week is almost over, but I guess it went kind of fast. Yeah, this month has gone by really fast as well. It's already the last day of February. Yeah, and that means it's our last Black History Month fact. Not going to lie, I'm kind of going to miss that graphic, but today's fact is all about Dr. Gladys West. She was a mathematician, and she's best known for creating the GPS. Also, last year, she was inducted into the U.S. Hall of Air Force Hall of Fame, which is one of the highest honors in the Air Force Space Command. She must have really loved her numbers. I cannot relate. <laughs> Same here, Sahana, but I know some of you coyotes can. Yeah, a lot of you guys are interested in math and science, so you may want to think about getting a STEM endorsement. And if you have no clue what Sahana's talking about, like I do, then don't worry because CNTV's Gabby Cardin's next story will tell you what's up with that. From now until May 1st, underclassmen and juniors are picking classes for the rest of their time as a coyote. While you reference the Frisco ISD course catalog or hack to make these decisions, you might notice a few endorsements listed. We offer five endorsement pathways, arts and humanities, business and industry, uh, public service, multidisciplinary, and STEM. And within those endorsements, there are certain pathways that students can choose. Within each pathway, there's a sequence of four courses that the students can follow. So within those four courses, um, once they take all of those courses, they will receive the endorsement for that particular area. So there are some that you need to start as early as freshman year because of the prerequisite, but there are some you can add later on. Due to the graduation plan set by the district, students automatically follow the multidisciplinary pathway, but there are different types of endorsements you can earn on top of that. Two examples are the um, arts and AV technology and communications pathway, which leads to the business and industry endorsement as well as um, if a student's interested in financial systems, we do have the financial pathways that also lead into business and industry. Along with trying out new things, there are other long-term benefits to following these paths. We have uh, several different um, opportunities for students to earn college credit through our endorsement. One way is through our health sciences, another way is through our culinary. The student will, it is listed on their transcript. A student can receive more than one endorsement um, and more than one pathway, um, but only the endorsement is listed on the transcript. This means you can start improving your college application from freshman year, especially if you already have a career in mind. I currently follow STEM. Uh, most of my cousins were already uh, doing STEM jobs, like my uh, cousin was an engineer, my um, other cousins were programmers. If your interests change, you can still get credit for completing the sequence of courses. I've had students go that route and take all of the courses and decide at the end that that wasn't the career for them. Although they still achieved the endorsement, it did give that ex them that experience in high school. I'm Gabby Carden for Coyote Nation TV. 
Like I said before, I've always heard about endorsement pathways, but I never really knew what they were until now. Same here. That got me caught up on a lot of information, and we should probably catch our seniors up on the Glow Up Challenge. Let's go to Maya to see what's going on with that. So just a quick update on our Glow Up Challenge. If you didn't get your last minute entries in, that's okay, you can still vote. And voting isn't just restricted to seniors. All coyotes can vote on packpage.org. Now our last few entries we want to showcase on our show. So first up we have Gabe Wright. He sent in his senior year photo and his freshman year photo. And do y'all see that golden hour? Well, he said, being a coyote has taught me how to keep going through hard times, even if they're out of your control, and always look towards the future because you don't know how bright it'll be. Well said, I couldn't have said that better myself. Next up, we have Audrey and Lauren Watson. They glue up together as sisters. Audrey and Lauren both said, we've only been at this school for two years, but we've learned about making friendship and the goals you can achieve with a little hard work. Hard work can get you very far in life, just like they said. Well, those entries along with the old ones are all up on pack page, so get your vote in before Friday by 5 p.m. Because by 5 p.m. on Friday, that poll will be shut down and the top four winners of that one will be transferred over to our Twitter at Coyote Nation TV and we'll have an up and running poll there, but only for 24 hours. So get your vote in there and keep an eye out on our Twitter at Coyote Nation TV, like I said, for the top four winner poll. And the winner of that poll will get the free prom ticket, like promised. That's all I have for you guys for now. Keep an eye out and back to y'all. Thanks, Maya. And just to reiterate what Maya said, the voting ends tomorrow at 11.59 p.m., so get those votes in quick. Exactly, and I cannot wait to see which senior gets a free prom ticket. Same here, Sahana. And we'll be right back after this Thriving Thursday. to all fellow cops. My name is Paul Caroma and here's your third Thriving Thursday message. If someone is trying to convince you to be someone that you're not, ignore their negative, ignore their negative advice and always be yourself because you're awesome in your own good selves. Always be yourself. Have faith in yourself. Express yourself. Do not go, do not go out and look for a successful personality and duplicate it. A quote from Bruce Lee. That is your third driving Thursday message, and you stay motivated, keep driving, coyotes! Thanks, Paul, for that sweet message. Yeah, Paul always comes through. That's kind of like the best part of Thursday, not I completely lie. agree. But now we're through with today's show. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Coyote Nation TV. And check us out on packpage.org for more stories. And you can also go vote for the winner for the Globe Challenge, like Maya said. She's Sahana Patel. And she's Isabel Milford. And you? Stay classy, coyotes. Did the lights go off? Yeah. <laughs>